Ladies and gentlemen, it's Design Slider. When your Wi-Fi is not working or Wi-Fi is missing or any internet related problem, I'm showing 8 solutions to fix this and I bet the magic fix at the end of this video will be your best. Go to your Windows Start, go to Settings, System, Troubleshoot, other troubleshooters you will need to run these two options internet connection and network adapter and you will need to run this one after the other so let's start with internet connections run troubleshoot my connections to the internet then window will fix this problem for you in most cases it will automatically fix it or it will tell you some instructions to follow on the screen to fix it then network adapter run here you will need to select all network adapters and it will detect the problem and automatically fix it otherwise windows will let you know what to do and you need to follow the instructions on the screen to fix the problem i hope it works now if not let's go next You need to take note of this warning before you proceed to this method. Remember your Wi-Fi password. Go to your Windows Start, Settings, Network and Internet, Advanced Network Settings, Network Reset. Reset now and give it a yes. Here, when you restart your device, it will automatically fix it for you. If not, let's go next. Go to your Windows search and type device manager. Open device manager. Here, expand down network adapters and look for your Wi-Fi adapter, internet adapter or your network adapter. Here is mine, Intel R Wi-Fi. Ignore all these mini port adapters. Select your Wi-Fi adapter, right mouse click on it and select properties then go to driver tab and select update driver browse my computer for drivers let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer select the one having most recent date and if you don't have date select one and run it then if that doesn't work you select the other one just try which one that works for you here i select this and go next when installation is complete you may have to restart your computer i hope it works now if not let's go next here you go to your windows start and search for device manager again Open Device Manager and back to Network Adapters, expand it down and still back to your Wi-Fi or Network or Internet Adapter, right mouse click on it and go to Properties. Then go to Power Management tab. Uncheck Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Uncheck this box, turn it off. OK. Then back here, right mouse click on the adapter again and uninstall device. Attempt to remove the driver for this device. Check this box, turn it on, then go uninstall. Restart your computer and when the computer comes back, it will automatically reinstall new Wi-Fi for you. If not, let's go next. Go to your Windows search and search for CMD. Right mouse click on command prompt and run it as administrator. Now you need to type a list of commands. I will leave the command text in the description. You may copy from there and paste. Otherwise you can type carefully and press the enter key when you're done typing. You should get this result. Then the next command. Type it carefully or you copy it from the description of this video and paste. Then you press enter key when you're done.
then the next command type it carefully or you copy it from the description of this video and paste then you press enter key when you're done When you're getting this result, resetting OK, resetting OK, that shows that you are making progress to fix this. And for the last command, type it carefully or you copy it from the description of this video and paste. Then you press enter key when you're done. There you go. So you have this result, successfully flushed the DNS resolver and you may restart your computer to complete this action. I hope it works. Otherwise, let's go next. Go to your Windows search and search for services. Open the services app. You may check my description in this video for the list of services you need to work on. That could be your guide. The first is DHCP client. Make sure it is running. If it is not, right mouse click on it and you will see start to keep it running. So when you have this, make sure it is running and it's on automatic. The next service to check is WLAN autoconfig. Scroll to get to WLAN autoconfig. Right mouse click on it and properties. Then you will see the start button to start it running. That is if it is not running. Then make sure the startup type is automatic. Apply and jump to OK. The next service to check, search for W1 autoconfig. In my case, it's not running and it is manual. So I need to right mouse click on it, properties. Then I start it to make it run. Then startup type, I put it as automatic. Apply, okay. Then go to network connections. You can right mouse click and make sure it is running and it's on automatic, just like we did for those ones. Then go to Network Setup Service. You can select it and do the same. Then you go to Wi-Fi Direct Services. You can follow the same process or you quickly just start it here. If it is not running, you will see this button here to start it running or follow the same process like we did before. Then restart your computer when you complete all these services. I hope it works. Otherwise, let's go next. Go to your Windows Search and search for Control Panel. Open control panel, network and sharing center, change adapter settings. Then go to your Wi-Fi, right mouse click on it and go to properties. Here, double click to open internet protocol version 4. Select obtain DNS server as automatic. Select obtain an IP address as automatic. When you select the two, OK. I hope it works now. If not, let's go next. Go to Windows Search and type Search Control Panel. Open Control Panel. And this time you're going to Internet Options. Then go to Connections tab. LAN Settings. Then Automatically Dictate Settings. Check it. Turn it on. For this, do not check this. If you see it is checked like this, uncheck and turn it off. Then go OK. Go to Advanced tab. Click Restore Advanced Settings. Apply and OK. You may restart your computer to see the issue is fixed. I hope it works now. If not, let's go next. Here is a bonus fix that can do the magic. It looks so simple, but I bet it can work for you. Just press and hold your power button for about 30 seconds. Press and hold it down still for 30 seconds. And when you let it go after 30 seconds, I bet you can see the issue is fixed. Which of these methods worked for you?